Hi. So today I was out uh, doing yard work, doing some patching, some concrete and stuff around my house. Pretty hot, miserable, humid. So I thought this is a great day to christen my new work area, my workbench area. So I thought I'll load something kind of simple uh, to get started, get back in the swing of things. I'm kind of happy about it. But uh, like all good plans, they don't all seem to work out. So today I decided I was going to load some buckshot and BB loads. So I got out some uh, 36 caliber round balls and some BBs. So I decided I was going to load flight control buckshot, which I did before with the Teflon tape. But uh, I had gotten these wads here. But I had no way to try my thing out. It's a three and a half inch, not slit or nothing wad uh, from Ballistic Products. And then I got the, I got out some paper Federal Halls. And um, and I decided I was going to use a bunch of my old stuff. So this is where the trouble starts. <laughs> So I decided I was going to use some of my old stock stuff. So I got out these Remington 57 primers. I put it in there. I go to prime something. I look, it ain't in there. I condition the hull. Put it back in there. It's still in there. These are old style, too small to use. Luckily, I got a couple hundred of them. So I got my next choice, old primers. So I got out these Elcam primers. Um... They say Fiocchi on the back, made in Italy. But anyway, we got those. So I'll tell you about my confunctions after. Oh, wait, let's do this. Okay, um, I made this right here. Three openings in the side and the length. So you put uh, one of those in there, take a razor knife, cut them out, pull it out. Save time. I wasn't going to bore you with me cutting that. Here, let's do it. I'll cut out. But anyway, here it is. What the hell is up with that? If you can see, their slot. There they are. And I exercise them a little bit to get them out, get them working. So uh, let's get this going here. We're going to prime this hole. So, I mean, getting back into this, you know, you don't keep your mind on it. Like, I uh, dumped the BBs in the hall before I even had the pot or the wad in there. I mean, it's kind of hard to get back to what, you know, was second nature to you. It isn't second nature anymore. But, uh, I'm using, uh, Hodgdon International Potter, because that's another thing. I always use Hercules Potter, and I had made a decision that I was going to use up these potters that I'd bought over the years. We're looking for 21 grains of this International. And here, this International, just to show you how old it is when I bought it, look at the price on it, $13.95. Sticker on the bottom, 311.96. So that's what Potter was in 96. But anyway, we've got our primer in there. And then we're going to fill up this Potter in there. So, put our wad, our TPS cut wad, get it in there. So, so I started doing this. And um, I'm going to just take a little break and I'll show you. Okay, so I started crimping these. So I got this crimp. Then I got this crimp. It's like a rattle. Give it to my granddaughter. No, I wouldn't do that. But anyway, then I got this one. Bumped up. Then I got that one. That one. Then I got that one. 
I'm like, what the hell is going on? Light bulb. Six point crimp, not an eight point crimp. So I figure this is no big deal. Because I knew I had ordered uh, a starter, a six uh, point starter from a Mech like a year and a half ago. So I looked through everything and I find it. There it is. I'm like, look at me, man. I go to put it in machine. Here they sent me for a 20 gauge. I was like, oh, geez, Louise. So, anyway, I go, I get out the lead load all, too, because it's got a six point in the back. Screw it to the bench, I do it, and then I start getting, getting those. Still bumped up in the middle. Then it dawns on me. Paper hauls. You don't start them. You, uh, here, and I'll show you what you do. Paper hauls. Oh, we're loading BBs in this one. You don't run them through the starter. You know, you feel like an idiot sometimes, you know? And, uh,. The stuff you forget, I guess. And, uh, oh, uh, an ounce. 433 it was. But anyway, the paper holes I found that you, uh, you just look where the old crimp lines were. You don't start it. You take a knife and you start them by hand on the old folds that are in the hall. Like that. You just get it started. Then when you put it in the back, pull the handle, because it's paper, you wait a few seconds. Take it out of there. And you get your crimp. But it has been a weird day just getting back. But uh, so I got a few over there. One, two, three, three, seven. Seven, I got to take apart <laughs> and get the primers out uh, and keep going. But I'm going to load some more. My first day back loading, I thought I'd share it with you. But, uh, thanks for watching the video.